Lies, lies, lies. Why did Kathy even come out and say all that stuff about Candace being there and just everything that she said? It, it was a lie because she's not there. Candace is not at Kathy's. She's in Georgia at somebody named TJ's house. And she was at Kathy's, and she stayed at Kathy's for about four weeks. But she's since left Kathy's and went to Georgia. And I'm just so tired of all these people lying in this case. What is she lying for? I mean, what's the point? What is her reason for lying? What's everybody's reason for lying? I've been over here busy looking at Jody Sue. The more I look at Jody Sue, the matter I get. Jody Sue is not innocent in this. I don't believe she's innocent by no means. I still think Candace knows and was involved in whatever happened to Summer. I don't know if it was some kind of a, a deal made between Candace and Jody Sue to get rid of Summer or if Jody Sue got rid of Summer to get back at Candace because she was mad because she didn't sell her that property like she wanted her to. Jody Sue has been all up in this case, all up in it. She couldn't be any more all up in it than she is. And she put herself there since the very beginning, since day one. Jody Sue has put herself front and center in this case. Even Michelle was talking about, oh, she's a witness. She's just a witness. Back when I first brought up Jody Sue as a suspect, Michelle outranked me because she has more subscribers and Michelle was telling everybody, no, Jody Sue's not a suspect. She's, she's a witness. And I did not feel that way in the very beginning. And I thought, well, maybe she knows more than I do. So I quit looking at Jody Sue for a long time. But everything, the evidence keeps leading back to Jody Sue. No matter which way I turn, no matter which way I go in this investigation, in this case, every road, every trail, every path, Highway, byway, they all lead to Jody Sue's feet. Just like the scent dogs. They went down the driveway and straight to Jody Sue's feet. I'm on to Jody Sue. I've been watching Jody Sue for quite a while. And some people on here might get mad at me for this. But I've been watching her for a while, y'all, before I came out and said anything about her. If nothing else, at minimum, she is very highly suspicious. And I believe that she has some involvement in whatever happened to Summer. 
And I believe it probably does have something to do with property, as mad as she was about the property. And the, she was going on and on and on on the Facebook post, the Facebook lives that I've seen leading up to the day Summer went missing. All the things that she said, all the things she said about the property and hating kids and how she would throw them off a cliff. And I brought all this up in a video a long time back. But it seemed like nobody, nobody believed that back then. But now I just don't have any other choice but to look at her very strongly. I've been looking at her. I've been looking at her pretty strongly for a while. But I wanted to be sure that there was something there before I talked about it on here. And I do feel like there's something there. I've seen enough to where I feel okay with mentioning it on YouTube. In the line of suspects lined up in Summer's case, she ranks right up there with Candace. And I would say I would put Jody Sue as a suspect before Don. I would almost bet right now, I would almost bet that that voice in the vehicle that said no in that video of Summer in the back seat was probably Jody Sue. I think she's been involved in this since day one, since before day one. Whatever happened to Summer, Jody Sue knows about it. And Jody Sue very much was involved, and that's why the scent dogs came straight to her feet. And that's why she was in the creek trying to throw off the dogs. She was trying to throw off the whole investigation. And she's been trying to throw deflection everywhere ever since day one. I haven't gotten her all the way figured out yet, but I'm on to her. I know that she plays a role in Summer's disappearance in my heart, in my soul, in my mind. I believe that, and that's my opinion. That's my own opinion. My own personal opinion. My gut feeling tells me that Jody Sue is evil. All over some property that she didn't get. Looky here, looky here, what we've got. I was trying to figure out which one that is. Not sure. I think that's one of the ones that we have not named. It could be one of the last year's phones. Because they're not very big yet. Pretty skittish. Pretty nervous. There's still a whole lot of that uh, berry block left out there. It's just... They've crumbled it up so bad you can't really see it from here. But it's crumbled and scattered from one tree over to the other tree. <laughs> yeah, that deer was pretty scared. It, it might be a new one. I mean, it might be new to this area. But yeah, that was the last feed block that we put out that last time. And... Uh, Hopefully, they'll have some more in when we go back. We're going to have to go back soon and get some more bird food. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Two days. 
you know what did what's doing this? Doves. I saw this morning I had a, a big dove, big doves too. I have one on top of it, sitting on top of it. One in the top level eating and one on the bottom level eating. Three big old doves sitting on that thing and it didn't fall, it didn't fall down. If it had, if it had been full of bird food, it probably would have been enough weight to make it fall off the window. Those doves are big, and that's why they're so big. They're the ones that's been cleaning out my window feeder. That thing holds right much bird food, and them doves will sit there and eat until they can't move. Anyways, um, somebody had requested for me to set up an Amazon wish list for the wildlife, for the wildlife yard out here, but, uh, I don't know how to do that and put it on YouTube, and Hubby hasn't been around much to get him to help me do that, and, uh, he's been sick too so when he is around he's been sleeping a whole lot and he's feeling some better but he's still he's still sick but he's still going to work every day and uh, my energy level my energy is just zapped and I've had a headache for two days I hope I'm not trying to come down with whatever he's got other than that, I feel fine. Just feel really, really tired. And a headache, that's all. And this case is probably what's giving me a headache. I can't believe Kathy come out like that. I mean, what was the point in even coming out if you're going to come out and tell lies? She come out talking like Candace was there with her and she was taking care of her. Like she was looking out for her. She was there being her best friend. Being the friend that she needed. And she ain't even there. Lying, Kathy. I don't understand people. They just lie for no reason. Jody Sue and all her mess giving me a headache. This case, it just keeps getting worse and worse, but I feel like it's getting ready to bust wide open. I think that a lot of things are coming to light. And I think law enforcement does know a lot more than what they're letting on that they know. I hope they're on the Jody Sue. She needs to be investigated. And that property down there where she moved off of needs to be searched. Thoroughly searched. Every inch of that property where Jody Sue was needs to be searched. And whatever property is close to it needs to be searched. Candace said that Jody Sue has been evil to her ever since she told her she wasn't going to sell the property. And then now all of a sudden she's not being evil anymore. Sounds to me like Jody Sue might have got even. Or she feels like she got even. And as far as them people in New York coming down here, I mean, that's all lies too. I feel like Candace probably sold them that house because they were, Don wanted to sell the house. They probably sold the house. Probably Don did. Probably got half the money or more up front 
And then when they get there, ready to move into a house that they've already put money on, Candace is sitting there with everything all boxed up in the house like she's moving somewhere, but she refuses to leave. Don was trying to get her to come to Utah, and she said no. She wouldn't go. And I think that they got cheated out of their money. I don't know if Don had it or Candace had it, but I think that could be why Jose stayed behind. Stayed behind to collect the money that was put down on that house. And they could have turned over summer to pay off that debt. They could have. But whatever happened, I feel like Jody Sue was involved somehow. Whatever Candace had going on. I believe that Jody C was all up in it, just like she's been all up in this case since, I mean, even she said she saw Summer, first she said three days before she went missing, and then she the next time I heard her say it, she said she was up there two nights before she went missing and saw her. And then she said that Andy went up there the night before and saw her the night before. Her and Andy both saw Summer two nights and one night before she went missing. I would say that would that's pretty close to being the last people to see Summer outside of people on that hill. Outside of Don, Candace, Grandis, and the boys, the last people to see Summer was Andy and Jody Sue. And if Hunter really saw her that day, I don't know. Still up in the air on that one. It's frustrating trying to figure all this stuff out. And I know that I could be way off. I could be so far off. But it's happened before in this case. We've all been off before. We've all thought we have we were going down the right rabbit hole and we wasn't. Or we all thought at one point we were barking up the right tree when we wasn't. We've been learning as we go in this case. And like I said, every which way I turn, I keep leading back to Jody Sue. Even though Michelle had convinced me that I was most likely wrong about that, about her. And now even she's coming out and saying that now she is looking at Jody Sue as more of a suspect instead of a witness. I listen to Michelle. Michelle's smart. She's a very smart lady. And overall, she has done a wonderful job at covering Summer's case. But she dropped the ball on Jody Sue early, early on in this investigation. But that's okay. I think she's on tour now. And I think me and Michelle are finally on the same page. I think this is the very first time that me and Michelle have been on the same exact page at the same exact time. Even though I like Michelle, I watch her all the time. I listen to her. I really, really listen to Michelle. 
but we can we can like somebody and watch their show and not agree with the, with everything they say. But right now, me and Michelle are on the same page looking at Jody Sue as a suspect. I've been there once before, and I'm back there again. I went in a big circle and come back to Jody Sue. So I just hope that she didn't involve any of her kids in whatever happened, if she was involved. Not saying for a fact that she was involved. I'm just saying my gut feeling tells me that Jody Sue needs to have a hard look at real hard look at like she needs to be taken downtown and questioned and given a lie detector test she needs to be treated like any other suspect would be treated and when that dog went directly to her feet she should have been taken downtown for a lie detector test right then at that moment i don't know how they missed that I know she had her dog with her, and she tried to put the blame on her dog. Jody Sue was over there messing up things on purpose, I believe. And I think she was in the creek so the dogs wouldn't pick up her scent again, like they already had at one time. There's a reason why the dogs went to her, because they smelled summer scent on her, all over her that day. And I don't think that her standing in the middle of the creek would detour a cadaver dog if that's what the scent dogs were on that day. Scent dogs, I'm not positive. Michelle's more of a a specialist when it comes to the differences in the dogs. You could go to her channel and learn more about the dogs, the differences in the cadaver dogs and the scent dogs. But I'm pretty sure that the cadaver dogs would have known that that scent was in that water, even if it was on Jody Sue's feet. But I am mad at Kathy for telling a lie. She didn't even have to come out. She should have just stayed quiet instead of coming out and telling lies, making people believe that she's there and she's not. And she even said, yes, law enforcement is very much aware that she is here. What a liar. But I bet you law enforcement does know where she is. And as long as they know where she is, I don't care where she is. Because everything that Candace has done for 11 months has told me that Candace does not care. Candace knows a whole lot about what happened to Summer. And she's done very little, if not nothing. to help find Summer, to get somebody to bring Summer home. She has not tried anything to get Summer back. She don't even look for Summer. She's not even at the house in case Summer was to come back. You would think she would get a friend to come there and stay with her and be there in case Summer came back. What if somebody came back and dropped her off at the driveway? I think Candace knows that's not going to happen. That's why she's not there. She knows there's no reason to stay on that hill anymore. Everybody's gone. And they're not coming back. The only one that I think is coming back up on that hill is Dawn. When he gets out, if he if he does get out. Oops, sorry about hitting the tripod there. So there's my rent. 
angry and frustrated at Kathy. I came on here yesterday making a video about how Kathy's taking care of candies. And no, she ain't. I have to come back today and retract all of that because Kathy lied. And I'm tired of all the lies in this case, y'all. Every which way you turn, you can't believe anybody in this case. Anybody that's anywhere close to the people in this case. And whoever Candace is staying with in Georgia, I don't think that's going to last long. Because... I don't think they're going to adapt to Candace's way of life. And I don't think Candace is going to adapt to civilization. Where you get up and take a shower. And you clean your house. And you clean up after yourself. You take care of yourself. You take care of your home, your space, your responsibilities. She's going to have the same old bad habits in Georgia that she had in Tennessee. And I just don't see anybody putting up with that for very long. She's not going to help clean the house. She don't know how to clean a house. She was never taught housekeeping skills, apparently. She's not going to help with the cooking, the cleaning, anything. Any of the stuff that you would expect a house guest to help you with. No, not Candace. You're going to be taking care of Candace like she's your child if you let her come and stay with you. She's a very troubled, she's like having a very, very troubled child that you have to watch just about 24 hours a day and clean up after her everywhere she goes, just like a kid, like a sloppy teenager. Not that all teenagers are sloppy. I'm saying like a sloppy teenager. I just don't think it's going to last long. And then they're going to send her on up the road. And when they when they get done with her, they're going to put her out. And she'll probably go back up on the hill. If Don ain't done got out and told her she can't, he might have put her out. We don't know. We don't know. He could have. He could have put her and Grandis out. And if he's innocent, I don't blame him. I would have put him out when Summer went missing and neither one of them were out looking for her. But then again, neither did Don. Don didn't go out looking for her either. Went to a few people's houses in the neighborhood. On the road. Went to the shed, first thing. I don't know how much Don knows. I, I'm still up in the air about that. We have to wait to be told. I've, I've heard rumors that Don has been cleared. But right now, that's what that is. It's a rumor. It's not been proven. But it's possible. If he proved that he was at work all day, he could have. But they're not going to tell us who has been cleared and who's not. But I bet you Jody Sue hasn't been cleared. If she has, then they need to go back and take another look at her. That's all I'm saying is she needs a good hard look at. And everybody in this case has had themselves looked at hard by everybody on YouTube, social medias, Every platform, this case is nationwide. It's all over the place. And everybody, the sheriff said, everybody is still a person of interest or still a suspect in this case. And so far, Jody, Slu Jody Sue has slipped under the radar. 
and she has not had people giving her hard looks. And I'm just saying, I think it's time for people to look, take a good hard look at Jody Sue. That's all. Thank you for watching.